Hey guys, DJ Love Drop here. Here to uh, make a really in-depth guide on Great Women Fighter. I made previous guides, but they weren't detailed as I would like them to be. Um, I'm trying to get into like in detail, so like if you have any questions, this guy will actually and other guys I'm gonna make after this one will answer all the questions. So, like the only thing you have to ask me is like one or two questions. It was just limited to down. I'm about to get in um, real detail. This guy's actually gonna be about stats, your ability score. And the gear you're actually going to be wearing at end game. You're like right now, in my opinion, I have the best slot gear. In my opinion, um, I'll go over that later. But I'm just going to go over. Let's just go over the stats of what you want first. Um, what I have here is I have um, an ability score. You want strength. That's the number one thing. I was messing around with a uh, constitution to see if like if this would work well with our tenebrous, because more health you have, more damage tenebrous does. Um, it did okay. I wouldn't really neglect it too much, cause dexterity gives you a lot of crit. So I mean, I'm not sure if it was worth it. Uh, the flexion chance too is nice, and AOE damage reduced. Some more health, I mean, more mitigation. But excuse me. Um, this is the hit points though is just immaculate. I mean, you get a lot, but I've asked other great women fighters who have only who haven't ran Constitution, and they have like 23,000. So I'm only getting like 2,000, and then 3% of that 2,000 is like a rough estimate about um like 80 damage ish. Like you know, I'll get a good take. So it's just not worth it. 80 damage, but you lose like four four to five percent crit. It's not there. So Constitution, it wouldn't be there. The only reason I'm Constitution right now because I didn't change. When I respect it, didn't change my ability score, which I was kind of down about. So I got to respect it still and get dexterity. You want to max strength and dexterity. Um, the best classes for it, either you want to go half work or human, depending if you want to max strength or do you want the three percent defense and the three feats. Um, those are the two best classes for the abilities score. I would go human just because of defense because it gives you extra p power later in the game not that much but it's a difference about a hundred um... you're gonna want then to max strength dexterity hopefully you have um... decent amount of con on your rolls you want to make sure these, these int, wisdom, and charisma are your lowest rolls you don't even want to worry about them these are your main focus right here right, so that's mostly about that's mostly about your ability to score with with um, your ratings, the w the spec I'm gonna be going through the guide. You're gonna want power, crit, armor penetration, and defense. Those are gonna be your main main stats. The reason for it is you're gonna have your power. Of course, it's gonna increase your damage. More damage you do, more DPS. Awesome. The crit, you're gonna want crit because most of your passives go off crit. So you're gonna want a high base crit. But you don't want it so high that your other stats fall, like power for instance, so then your bleed and other things won't do as much damage. So a rough estimate you're gonna want you're gonna get around thirty four hundred at the end. You want about thirty three thirty to thirty three percent crit. If you get higher but you can't do anything about the gear, then that's it's awesome. You're still gonna have it. I mean, you can't you're not gonna argue about that, you know what I'm saying? If the gear gives you crit, take it. Simple. Um, then you want armor and penetration of course. The reason for it is because in this spec while I'm running, you're not running the plague fire, so you don't want less. I mean, you don't have that extra like 90% reduction armor. There's reasons for it. I'm about to go into detail later. Um, but with this spec, you're gonna want exactly what I have right now: armor penetration. And then the reason we go for defense is because your feats transfer power from your defense 20%. So your higher defense means more power added onto it. And then, of course, with your companion, you get more ability. Like, if you look, I have critical strike, armor pen, defense. Power, power, critical strike, armor pen. Power, power, defense, hell, I see. I need a new neck right now. It's the only thing I need on my cat. I got Eldritch also. So, because my stats. So, the cats actually give me a lot, like 267. The main one mostly is the power. I'm getting 950 power, but what it doesn't show is I'm getting. That's 950 power, plus I'm getting 9.5% of that power added on. Plus the defense, plus that is added on. So I'm actually getting probably a rough, rough estimate about 1100 power just for my cat. So you can see that's a huge difference. Like, let me get rid of my cat real fast. Dismiss. So, yeah, see how huge that was? I just gained like 1100. Huge increase. So, with the power, you're going to want your, um, your stat priority. 
is going to be crit to 33%. Okay. After 33%, then you're going to want max power, then defense, then armor penetration. That's going to be your order. Crit, 33%, power, defense, armor penetration. Okay. After that, whatever you get from the extras, you get from the extras. But that's your main priority. So if you get an item, right, and it says it has like crit power and then there's another in the same item like crit power and like lifesteal okay and then you see another item that drops and it has the same it has the same power but it has defense on it and then lifesteal with deflection what you're going to want to do is then you're going to want to look at your gear that you have if you already have 30% crit or a decent amount of crit then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to replace that crit item that you have and then you're going to want to add that item that has power and defense because it's going to increase your power more because you have more defense making you a little bit more tankier and it's going to add more power so it's actually an upgrade because you already have your crit already where it needs to be so right now we think about it, it's like you're erasing the crit and now it becomes power defense armor pen um, as you can see it's a lot of difference like I have 31% crit so I'm, I'm doing good um, after that you're going to want your slots okay what I use, I actually use the PvP gear, okay? This is what I'm saying I believe is my best slot for what I'm rolling. If you look at my PvP gear, and every single PvP gear I have, I have power, crit, arm, penetration, defense. Your four stats that you need. You go to the chest, you have your AC, of course, and you have power, crit, arm, penetration, defense. Power, crit, arm, penetration, defense. Same thing, power, crit, arm, penetration, defense. So, like... What you're doing is you're not using your set bonuses. Like I mean, the force says nice a little bit. It helps you not have to chug too many potions because you're always unstoppable. So you're, like, you're mostly in like if you think of World of Warcraft Warrior, you're like a you're like a second wind warrior right now. The whole fight, you're almost getting 10% of your health the whole time. So it's not bad. And then the extra hit points is eh, whatever. It's, I can get eh, happens. But um, wait. The reason why I say this is because I've looked at the T2 bonuses. The only gear that comes close to being viable, in my opinion, for PV PVE would be the Avatar's gear. But the problem with Avatar's gear is the Force Set gives you power, 1300 power, which is really, really good. Don't get me wrong, it's really strong. But it's only for 4 seconds. And then you're just down again. So I'm only getting 1300 power for 4 seconds. If you think about it, 4 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. So I'm getting like 3 to 4 auto attacks. It's, it's not worth it. It's, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Unless someone can come up and show me numbers like I don't, I don't have like a chart and all this craziness people run. But I don't think it's good because th what I do is I use my counters to build up my slam to make my auto attack do more. Because I'm more of a uh, ad control kind of great weapon fighter. Because we're that's all we're good for. Like we're not good for single target DPS, in my opinion, of course. Um, so what I do is, I <coughs> excuse me. What I what I have is just all my stats. So if you think about it, the PVE gear that drops, you get like two of those stats, and then you get like deflection, life steal. What else is there? Deflection, life steal, recovery. In my opinion, it's not worth it. You're losing two main stats. For a force set that's not going to be active the whole fight, whereas in PvP gear, it's a little bit less of stats of your priority. Like you'll have power will be a little bit lower, but your defense will be higher, which actually counteracts your power. So it actually increases your power because the defense you're losing it makes it the difference of 27 power difference into like six. So it's not a huge difference. So I'm not losing that much power and. 13, I don't know, it just, it's how you want to look at it. You want 1300 power every 4 seconds, or do you want good stats across the board permanent? You know what I'm saying? So, I have permanently has 5900 power, I have permanently 34. If I go the other spec, I'm not going to have 5900. If I go to the other gear, I'm going to have about 5400. So, I'm going to be losing 500 power. I think I did the math correctly when I was doing it in my head, not my head, but my paper. I'm going to have about 5,400 power. So I'm losing 500 power. Crit kind of goes down a little bit, then i got to change other passes. So it, it's not as strong as what people think it is. Um, of course, 
that's just my speculation. You, if you want to do a number crunch, you can, but I've looked at it and it looks like PvP gear is actually the best for PvE, as sad as it sounds. Um, I wish that the PvE gear would actually have more of stats than just power career than two, in my opinion, useless stats. I mean, it's nice to have a lot of deflect because then you can actually de deflect a lot of damage. It's nice to have recovery so you can spam your encounters. I mean, it's nice to have li no, life steals actually garbage in the game right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But that's, as is in my opinion, it's just armor penetration increases my damage, critical strike increases my crit damage, which increases my damage, power increases damage, defense, which increases my power, that increases damage. As you can see, the whole PvP set just increases all your damage. And then, of course, I actually have the great weapon, um, the Ancient Castle Champion Sword, the best T, um, best weapon, main hand, for a great weapon fighter. What's nice about it is, of course, that the base damage on it, the stats. See yeah, how I'm saying PVE? I have recovery and deflection right now. Um, I actually think I have the PvP weapon still. Do I? Yeah, even the PvP weapon, which is actually the be second best weapon in the game for a great weapon fighter, it's because it gives you power, crit, arm penetration, defense on it. So, I mean, that's the second best weapon you're going to want. Okay? Um, you're going to want Ancient Castle of Champions after that. And then you're gonna want um, this, the offhand too. The reason why you want both is, of course, is two set bonus, which gives you 450 crit, which is awesome. Also increases your power and crit higher than the other abilities too. The real reason why I have this over, where is it? This one, is you can see the 59 base damage of it, and of course the power is gonna be different because of that. But just overall, the power is stronger. Everything is stronger. That's why you want to change straight to the great, uh, the castle weapon. And then on your neck, you're going to want Grand Exorcist, I'm going to say it wrong, Exorcist, right? I think I said it right. Necklace of Blessing. It gives you pa power, crit, and arm penetration. And then it gives you an offensive slot for power. So this alone is giving me 333, 35 power, and then crit arm penetration. Um, the Pyrotech Bands, you can actually, I don't know where I got this one, but I know you can get these from um, Caverns. Get the right name for you exactly. You can get it from Epic Dungeon Caverns of Curandax. It's off the first boss. The first boss drops them. So if you're just trying to get the rings, and you're and you have like a nice group that's gonna help you out, just go in, in there, kill the first boss. It doesn't drop. Leave, make it queue again, and keep farming the first boss until you drop these. Um, these are actually really really good for great weapon fighters. Um, actually not bad for rogues too, due to the fact that it gives you crit, armor penetration, power, but we're not going to worry about rogues right now, we're going to worry about grab weapon fighters. Um, Grand F uh, Fugitive's Belt, this is actually from um, uh, Castle Never. I got this after actually a lucky draw, um, drop, sorry, from the Dungeon Delves. I was very happy to get this, because I actually looted the offhand and I'm like alright cool miss if I can get and I guess should replace my belt too which then moved over here um of course these see yeah, I actually did what I said I actually farmed the first boss and I got the next ring too um then of course you want your pants and shirt that's given um with your, what you're going to want to do also for your utility for the sockets you're going to want to go dark enchantment for utility you're going to want to go armor enchantment you want soul forge just cause it's I, I think I've saved myself almost 80% of the time after I dropped 25% health because of this ability. Going immune for 3 seconds is probably the most OP thing you can ever do in a game. No matter what game it is. 3 seconds of immune damage, can't go dead, can't take damage, can't take old, he's nothing. I believe that's just too strong in the game. I actually think they should probably get rid of this, but that's just my opinion. But until they they get they get rid of it or do whatever to it, this is probably gonna be the best enchantment you can get. Of course, try to upgrade as much as you can for the longer duration of being immune. For defense, you're gonna want to go Azure. More defense equals more power. Um, offense, you're gonna want to go Radiant. Radiant gives you straight power, which is probably the best offense you can go. Um, the weapon slot with this one, I go Lightning. I actually did the math. I do about. 180 to 200 damage with lightning, okay? Doesn't sound a lot, but it changed twice. And when it changed twice, you gotta think about one chain.
that 180 turn into all of a sudden turn into 360, 480. I did it right? 540, 540. It does 540 damage every time it changes once. If you attack six targets and change twice or three times, you just did about 1500 damage a chain. So it's mostly an actually next extra auto attack. And I've actually seen a proc where I've seen 180 everywhere. And I was like, damn. I'm like, you, I mean, you can't really tell, but I've seen it once, but I just did one strike. Um, and you can see if it's just like a straight line, just lightning all over them. Um, I like it due to the fact that it just does a lot of damage. If if you don't like lightning, then go greater plague fire. Just because you lower the, the armor, and then the rest of your armor penetration, you'll do 100%. I guess you can call it true damage if you're a League of Legends fan. Um, then you'll just you'll just do more damage auto attack. I just like the lightning enchantment. I'm trying to go different than everyone else, but I believe plague fire might be a little bit better min maxing. But I haven't seen what what greater lightning enchantment turns into. As you can see, I'm I'm trying to build another one right here. I got a few more. Actually, I can do it right now. Here, watch this. Bam, fuse. Um, we want to go is then is after you get all these socketed, of course, defense and all this. You're gonna want to make sure your companion's geared. You do the same gear as your neck piece. Is with the waist, I'm still farming these two for them, and then. Uh, which sorry, then uh, you're gonna want to farm a lot of empowerment and um, empowered rune stones and eldritch. I almost have ten. I'm, I'm so close to ten. I actually messed up, and I'm really sad. I actually had two. No, I actually had what was it? Four eights, and I actually messed up. I didn't have a ward, and I lost one. I was really sad, so I had to farm another one. And I actually didn't buy them off the auction house. I actually farmed these, so it's it's a real annoyingness. Like if you look at my if you look at my guild bank, I actually have not guild bank, but my my own bank, just all runes and wards and everything, everything four plus. And like I, these are just my my today's dungeon, so I'm just gonna throw them all in my bank. And then when I see a lot of one stack, I just upgrade them. I don't use wards for th until they get to seven. Um, what you're gonna want to do then is uh. Just get your cat geared, and when you have your cat geared and you have yourself geared, you're, you're going to be doing so much DPS. It's going to be like, as you can see, I just and I just did like one or two damage. Like you can see the bleeds from my power. Just it just stacks. That was like one or two attacks, and then you're going to want your AOE. But that's mostly what you need for your ability score, your stat wise, and the gear you're looking for. Once when you have all this figured out and how you want to do it, then you just gotta worry about your power and feats, which I'm actually have I have another guide out I'm about to make. Um, just tune in for that one. But uh, until then, that's the ability to score, powers, and the gear. Um, have a good one. My name is DJ Carry on Dragon Server. Add me if you want at DJ Carry. I mean DJ Love Drop at DJ Carry. DJ Carry is my handle. Um, have a good day, guys, and I hope this guide helps you.